Good evening students. Today we will discuss another topic that is class neurostomata. Class neurostomata comes under phylum Arthropoda and under subphylum Chelicerata and one of the uh, important member of uh, class neurostomata is Limulus. Here I have provided the diagram of Limulus. Limulus uh, is a marine organism and it is found, uh, it is also known as um, king crab or horseshoe crab uh, because it is known so because it has got a shape of the horseshoe. That's why it is called horseshoe crab. And uh, it is also one of the important member of class Neurostomata because it is also known as a living fossil. Uh, limulus or king crab or horseshoe crab. Uh, it is known as the living fossil because uh, it is continued to remain unchanged for uh, millions of years, approximately 200 millions of years. There is no change morphologically as well as anatomically. That is why it is called a living fossil and uh, it is actually a very close uh, relative of trilobites. Okay, trilobites comes under the subphylum uh, trilobitomorpha. We last class we have studied that uh, subphylum trilobitomorpha comprises of the extinct species which uh, were uh, once lived in the Paleozoic era, that is uh, during the Cambrian and uh, Permian periods. Okay, so this organism Limulus uh, is actually a close relative of uh, trilobites, which is uh, an extinct organism. And uh, the um, silent features of uh, the class Neurostomata includes, and uh, they are marine chelicerates. Chelicerates here they are called chelicerates because they comes under subphylum chelicerata and also they possess chelicerae and uh, that is uh, uh, an appendage uh, uh, it is called chelicerae which is seen in the uh, limulus too or uh, which is common in the members of class neurostomata. So they are marine chelicerate and the anterior region is called cephalothorax and it is also termed as prosoma okay this region is called prosoma and the posterior region is called a opistoma or the abdomen clear so their body is divided into two regions an anterior region and a posterior region anterior uh, region is called prosoma or cephalothorax and the posterior region is called abdomen or opistoma and Opistoma is divisible into anterior mesosoma and posterior metasoma. Okay, again this abdominal area is again divided into two parts or two regions that is anterior part and a posterior part and anterior region is called the mesosoma. This is the mesosoma and here you can find the metasoma. Okay. And it also possesses two lateral compound eyes and two median simple eyes. Or the members of uh, class Neurostomata possess uh, median eye as well as lateral eye. Here is the position of uh, median eye, and here you can find the lateral eyes, okay, in the uh, carapace or in the cephalothoracic uh, region. You can find median eye and a pair of lateral eyes. Uh, lateral eyes are found on the dorsal side of the prosoma. Prosoma means the cephalothoracic uh, region. Okay, and antenna are absent, uh, or all the members of uh, subphylum uh, Chelicerata doesn't have antenna. Antennas are absent. Okay. So the members of class Neurostomata also they doesn't have uh, antenna. Antennas are absent, and uh, Prosoma bears one pair of chelicerae and five pair of walking legs. 
here when we uh, visualize its ventral surface we can find uh, its uh, appendages that is it has got actually six pairs of appendages and the first pair of appendage is called uh, the chelicerae okay here you can find the structure of a pair of chelicerae small appendage and it uh, total it has got six appendage and the first pair is called the chelicerae and the rest five appendages are uh, here you can find the rest of five appendages okay one two three four and five these are the uh, six different uh, appendages first pair is called chelicerae and uh, it has got uh, five different uh, appendages which is commonly called walking legs okay so prosoma bears one pair of chelicerae and five pairs of walking legs clear and mesosoma bears five or six appendages that's what uh, i have uh, taught uh, the mesosoma mesosoma refers to that is uh, the opisoma is divisible into anterior mesosoma and posterior metasoma. Actually, the chelicerae and uh, the five walking legs are present in the cephalothoracic uh, region, and it has also got other appendages in the mesosoma. Okay, mesosoma is the anterior portion of uh, the opisoma. Okay. That's what written here. Mesosoma bears five or six appendages, and the excretory organs are a pair of coxal gland. Uh, in the video lecture of uh, subphylum Chelicerata, I have provided the diagram of coxal gland. Coxal gland is also seen in the cephalic region, which is the main excretory organ of uh, Chelicerates. So. The members of chelicerates, that is uh, limulus, also possess uh, coxal gland as their excretory organ. Okay, and example is limulus. Limu now we can discuss in detail about the features of limulus. Limulus is also known as king crab or hermit. Sorry, it's not hermit crab. Horse. Okay, horse shoe crab. It is also known as uh, king crab or horse shoe crab, and uh, it lives in warmer regions of sea and makes burrow in sand. It is actually a burrower, and it makes a burrow in sand, and it is seen in the warmer regions of the sea. And its prosoma. This is the prosoma. It is covered by dorsal carapace. It is the outermost. Uh, layer that is a carapace you can find here the carapace that is um, in the cephal cephalothoracic region you can find a dorsal carapace and it possesses three longitudinal ridges okay here you can find uh, three longitudinal ridges these are the ridges and this ridge is called median ridge and two lateral ridges Okay, these are the lateral ridges and this is the median uh, ridge and it possesses two simple eyes or ocelli. Okay, ocelli is situated in or it is called the median eye which are simple eyes, two simple eyes or ocelli lie anteriorly in the median ridge and also it has got a pair of uh, compound eyes external to the lateral ridge. So, these are the lateral ridges. And in lateral ridges also you can find a pair of compound eyes. Clear? And uh, here it is written about the appendages. That is, it possesses six appendages um, and it is grouped near the mouth. First a pair is called uh, chelicerae and I have shown the diagram of chelicerae. And next four pairs are also chelate and they perform locomotion and mastication. And the next four pairs of walking legs uh, or the appendages uh, are meant for or they perform locomotion for movement and also it helps in the mastication. And the last pair, sixth pair.
pair is non chelate and it is adapted for digging the mud and for searching the worms and here it is the larva of uh, the horseshoe crab or the limulus it is called the trilobite larva so this is the structure of uh, a, a larva of uh, of the limulus which is called trilobite okay so these are the important characteristic features of class uh, Neurostoma and about limulus. Thank you.